guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to the community I am very happy to have you here so today I want to talk to you about some fragrances that are most appropriate to be worn during the fall season they perform really well in cooler weather these are not winter favorites I just wanted to to tell you guys about what kind of perfumes perform best during the fall season there are some that are even better for the winter so I'm gonna save those for later I know the title of the video is fall favorites but really it's more about what perfumes perform best during the fall season and some of these are my absolute favorite some of them are not up in my top 10 but they are nonetheless really good perfumes and the one thing they have in common is performance they really perform well in cooler weather they do perform well in winter too but they are the most appropriate for the fall time I don't want to talk about you know fragrances that are great all year round or fragrances that are even appropriate for winter because that's really not the point of the video I really want this video to be helpful to you guys in picking good fragrances for the fall season so I don't want to just throw a bunch of you know picks in there that I like all year round or even you know winter time and fall both I just wanted to talk strictly about what perfumes really perform the best in the fall season so if you want to see what I picked for the fall season please keep watching so the first fragrance that I want to talk to you guys about is one of my all-time favorite fragrances I love this house it's a Middle Eastern perfume house it is Casablanca by Swiss Arabian so this perfume right here is a beast you guys oh this is so so gorgeous I don't need to spray this one I know that I will spray to get a better whiff of it but I tell you I can smell it right here you know I can smell this perfume I don't even need to spray this one this one is a beast in terms of performance which is one of the reasons why this is not really appropriate for spring and summer if you wear this in spring and summer especially summertime in the heat this could this could make some people faint I'm just being dramatic here but you know you can wear it but it would just be a little bit too in your face during the summertime because this projects like there's no tomorrow so let me tell you when I first got this perfume I sprayed it on myself in the living room and my husband was all the way on the other side at the end of the kitchen he was like what's that smell did you just get a perfume wow I can smell it over here so that's how much this projects if you do not want people to know I'm here you know don't wear this perfume I would not call this a unisex fragrance to be honest um, I mean again a, a guy could choose to wear it it would have to be a very confident uh, guy to wear this perfume so this has this green apple note in the opening it is so beautiful this is a fruity caramel balsamic and slightly powdery scent so those are really the accords so you get sweet fruity caramel powdery and woody accords in this perfume it's just so freaking gorgeous so in the opening the top notes when you spray it in the opening you get a nice whiff of green apple and there's a grape note in there the powderiness comes from the iris in the middle you get in the middle iris patchouli and uh, white woods that's where that slight you know powderiness comes from the iris I've noticed like whenever there's iris in a fragrance you get a little powderiness you know from the fragrance and on the dry down on the base you get the caramel the the gourmand notes by the way did I mention this is an oriental perfume I would say this is an oriental gourmand the dry down you get the caramel the gourmand note um, ember a little bit of musk there's a little bit of suede and pearl balsam so really what you smell is predominantly the green apple and the grape and the um, the iris and the caramel so that's really what you smell I just love this perfume you guys I really do I wouldn't quite say it's a polarizing perfume it's very pleasing 
just gorgeous feminine perfume but you know I, ha I know that some people find it a little bit too strong I mean all of these perfumes that I'm going to be talking about are fall appropriate uh, for several reasons but one of them being the fact that they're beast mode perfumes you cannot wear beast mode perfumes in you know spring and summer it's just too strong in my opinion again this is my opinion and my experience and everything that i've read and watched from experts seriously um beast mode perfumes are a no-go for summertime because you can induce headaches in people you can uh, give yourself a headache you can just you know it could be off-putting when it mixes with the heat and the sweat just you know just a little too much and even if it didn't do any of those things you want the perfume to elevate your you know your confidence and your you know the appearance and your you know overall uh, aura you know overall feeling but if it defeats the purpose then there's no point you know what i'm saying so that's what i mean by fall favorites um or fall appropriate it doesn't mean that you can't wear them i mean the, Again, I really don't like rules, you know, I, I don't believe that you need to put rules on yourself when it comes to things that you enjoy, but there are some things that are not necessarily rules, but rather, you know, things that just work better in different places. And another factor that we take into consideration when, it, when you determine what's best for fall are, sure, the performance beef smooth perfumes, but also there are some perfumes that in the slightly cooler weather with that moisture level and the temperature in the air there's like something about those you know temperatures that make these perfumes last longer and also they not only perform better but smell better do you know what i'm saying so so some of these perfumes some of these beast mode perfumes like if you wear it in the heat it might alter the molecules. It might actually smell different from what it's supposed to smell like. That's one of the other factors that, that weigh into uh, what's most appropriate for fall time. So I said, you know, performance, uh, you know, beast mode ones, not great in the heat. It might kind of be off-putting and it could be, you know, giving people headaches. It could be too strong and like, just not good and number two cooler weather make these fragrances last longer and the other thing is that uh, in the cooler temperatures and crisper air these fragrances might smell the way they're supposed to smell without getting altered you know what I mean so those are kind of three things that you want to keep in mind when you pick fall fragrances yeah so this is Casablanca one of the most beautiful gorgeous feminine amazing uh, oriental gourmands that i've ever ever put my nose on i would say 90 percent of the people would say that they love this fragrance if there are people who don't like this fragrance fragrance it might be people who wore this during the wrong time of the year like the summertime you know if you wear this in the summertime this could be a little too much you know so again you just got to know when to wear your fragrances. So the next one is a definite, 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 definite fall perfume. This one right here. Sure, you can wear this in the winter. It would be, it would work in the winter too, but this one really would perform the best in the, you know, cooler weather, cooler air, crisp air, um, rather than like freezing cold. Um, I think I really do because of the tonka bean and everything in here. So this is Fav Delicious by Christine Dior. This is from their private line, um, the private collection. These perfumes are quite expensive, you guys. I don't think I need to spray any of these perfumes. These are beast mode perfumes. Like I said, this one is a beast too. Such a be beast. I mean, if you wear this, people will smell you. So I'm somebody whose skin doesn't really hold perfume like I mean, I spray perfume on my skin, it disappears like right away, most perfumes. But this is one of the few that actually last on my skin. Is this one of my top 10 favorite perfumes? No, but I appreciate this perfume for the uniqueness that it is. Let me tell you, this is not a safe blind buy. I, in fact, when I first got this, 
I bought this um, because I heard such good things about uh, this from several YouTubers. But when it first arrived, I sprayed it on myself. I was like, whoa, whoa, not sure if that's for me. It was very heavy on the tonka bean, which I usually love, but in the mixture that is in here, quite unique. Unique really is the word for this perfume. It's, it's a beast and it's unique. There's nothing else like this. There's nothing else like this, which is what, why I love this perfume actually. This was not a love at first sniff for me at all but I really grew to love this perfume because of the, the fact that it's a very unique and very kind of when you really smell it, the more you smell it, the more you really like this perfume. I wouldn't call this a unisex perfume. To me, this is very feminine. This is a very sweet, aromatic, balsamic, vanilla perfume, very heavy on the tonka bean. This is technically an oriental vanilla. And uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's one of a kind and it is the type of perfume that would really smell like what it's supposed to smell like and perform the best during cooler weather. Uh, when leaves are falling, cool weather, not necessarily, you know, really cold sub-zero weather, uh, even just regular winter weather. This would work in winter as well, but I think this would really be itself in the fall time. Honestly, it's a great uh, evening perfume for the fall, um, for night out, so for like a very uh, black tie type of event even, it's a very unique fragrance. So the nice thing about this is that actually there is a fresh start to this perfume, although it's very fall type of fragrance. In the opening, you get bergamot, lavender, and mint. I mean, how unique is that? Bergamot and mint at that zest to its beginning, the opening. Um, lavender adds that sort of just enough of a slightly unisex touch to the perfume. But to me, because of the, the base notes, this is really a, a, a ladies perfume. Again, men can wear this. Again, no rules. If you want to wear it, you can wear whatever you please. I think it would smell better on women. In the middle, you get sour cherry, freesia, and jasmine. So how, how crazy is that? That's, that's quite a unique combo, like sour cherries and jasmine, you know? Now you get the idea why this is very unique. So on the base, you get all of the gourmand notes, praline, vanilla, caramel, tonka bean, benzoin, all, all those notes. And this has milk as a base note. Can you believe that? It gives that sort of creamy touch to this perfume, like a creamy finish. And this also has cacao, cacao pod actually. So the cacao really comes through in this perfume. It gives that darkness to it, you know, that makes this a fall perfume. Um, so there's cacao in it, so there's like a slight hint of chocolate sort of cacao note in there. And then you have sandalwood and leather, which kind of really rounds this up. It falls in the category of a unisex perfume. Yeah, I think it would be most appropriate on a woman. And this would perform best during fall season. Faire Delicious by Christian Dior. Then I have two of my favorites from the Maison Lancome line, the private line of Lancome. You all know I rave about Oud Bouquet in almost all of my fragrance videos. You guys know how much I love this. This is a very sweet Oud Rose Vanilla Woody fragrance. You know this is a Rose Oud combo for perfume with a, a couple of Woody notes and Praline and Vanilla on the, the dry down in the base notes. In addition to Oud, you have Guaik Wood and Kapahu Wood in this newer 2014 version of the Oud Bouquet. The previous 2014 version only has Oud, not the other two woody notes. So this one is slightly woodier than the previous version, but still syrupy and jammy and delicious as the other version. I appreciate both of them. This perfume is best worn during fall season, if you ask me, because this performs the best during slightly cooler weather. This carries for a long time on my skin during fall, fall season. My skin kind of eats perfume and this actually performs well all year round. However, during fall time, I've noticed that this performed the best on my skin. On my clothes, this lasts forever. I mean, even after washing it, it starts me, it's 
Still smells like wood bouquet, but during fall season, lasting power is great. And the smell is exactly what you smell right out of the bottle. Uh, Maison Lancome Oud Bouquet, perfect for the fall season. And of course, I had to mention this one, Swiss Arabian Shahav Oud. This is the dupe or the clone. I would call this almost a clone uh, to Maison Lancome Oud Bouquet because this is like 95% dupe for Maison Lancome Oud Bouquet. And this one is, the only difference is to me, this one is a little stronger on the notes like the the gourmand notes the syrupiness the the rose in here is a little bit more prominent the syrupiness is a little bit more to me in this um that praline note really comes through so yeah this one is just a little prettier slightly prettier more feminine than the um, the oud bouquet i would say oud bouquet is you know technically unisex but i still think maison lancome oud bouquet would be better on a woman again this is unisex too to me this is a little bit more feminine delicious and and very rosy than oud bouquet so oud bouquet and its twin sister right here swiss arabian shahaf oud both are better for the fall season and the next one is also from the Maison Lancome line. This is Roses Berberenza. This one is a another rose perfume, but this one is a little bit more rosy. And you know, that one in the Oud Bouquet, you know, the rose kind of balances out with Oud and the, you know, the gourmand notes in it. Whereas this one is very like rose, you can smell the rose. Um, again, this just like the Oud Bouquet, this performs best during fall season on my skin and it smells just like out of the bottle during fall season it doesn't alter the smell it lasts a long time and it's just really like surrounds you during fall season perfect fragrance for the fall time this is a woody rose fruity nutty sweet perfume this has a, a delicious sort of a citrusy opening with the tangerine note in the opening of course you get the the rose and then you get actually a pistachio which is where the nutty comes from nut, nuttiness and then you get you know raspberry ginger some green notes in the middle some spicy woody and some gourmand notes on the bottom there's a huge dose of honey in this which makes this very syrupy kind of sticky you know thick perfume there's booziness to it uh, with with the rum note on the bottom there's benzoin, uh, there's saffron, and there's violet. So the, the, the violet on the base kind of gives it like a slight powdery hint to it, but powdery isn't one of the accords in this perfume technically, but to me, it's a little powdery. Violet and the rose together creates this gorgeous floral scent. Uh, and then, the, you know, there's the slight sticky honey gourmand twist to it. Makes this a very sticky sort of syrupy perfume. Yeah, Roses Barbarenza. Maison Lancome. Speaking of nutty fruity perfumes, next one is this one right here, Girl of Now by Elisad. So a lot of people know this, again the juice color, see? We got a theme going on here. This is a beast mode perfume as well. It's projection, sillage, all really great. Again, I think this perfume performs better in the fall season, in the cooler weather not necessarily freezing you know weather like winter but rather slightly cooler weather like fall season definitely a bit much for summertime i think you can pull it pull this off in spring if you, if you want to again guys if you want to wear this in summertime feel free you know it's 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 your choice it's just that this is this may be a little too much for the summertime and and it smells i would say the best um because it keeps its integrity during the, you know, in the cooler weather. I would say uh, Girl of Now Elisab is a great nutty, uh, sweet perfume for the fall. This is a, an oriental floral, almond, sweet, nutty, fruity, woody. Again, this is an almond pistachio uh, perfume. Everybody knows that. On the top, you get mandarin, orange, pear, and pistachio, orange blossom and magnolia with almond in the middle, tonka bean, almond, patchouli, Think cashmere on. So yeah, um, great, great fall weather perfume right here. Lasts a really long time in, in the right amount of projection and sillage during fall season. Elisab, girl of now. So next one is a, unfortunately, this has been discontinued just recently. This was still, still available at Sephora just the, the beginning of this year, 
but not anymore. Um, this has been discontinued. It blows my mind as to why. This is Mugler Alien Essence Absolute. This is this still has that alien DNA um, in that sort of like the dirty jasmine that the aliens got going on. Um, this one, you know, the nice thing about this is that it's not as dark as the the alien uh, perfume. I, I like alien, but it's not my favorite, but this one is one of my favorite. Again, I don't even need to spray this. It's such a gorgeous, uh, gorgeous perfume, you guys. This is a very white floral balsamic vanilla powdery perfume. This is an oriental perfume, obviously. This has jasmine as the top note, just like um, the alien, but in the middle you get cashmere wood and orris wood. And then in the base you get incense, which is what makes this kind of really beautiful kind of, you know, like, uh, uh, mysterious and powdery a little bit. Vanilla, ember, mirth and incense on the bottom. Incense kind of adds that, that like sort of extra layer to this perfume. This would be a little too much for summertime. Not really appropriate for the weather in the in the springtime. The whole vibe it's not really for this perfume. Fall is really the right time for this perfume, even more than winter. It has great triage, projection, lasting power. But in this in the fall season, this keeps its integrity. The the smell is exactly the like out of the bottle. I would say much better than Alien, the original. You can still get a hold of this perfume. You just have to look for it. Alien Essence Absolue by Thierry Mugler. Next one is another Thierry Mugler perfume. This one, everybody knows this one. Oh yeah, this is Angel Muse by Thierry Mugler. So this is a woody, patchouli, earthy kind of nutty perfume. So this is essentially uh, cacao and hazelnut in this perfume. Uh, this would be way too much for summer and spring and even more than winter. I think fall for something so heavy and dense. I think fall is the time for this perfume. So in the top you get grapefruit and pink pepper and in the middle you get hazelnut cacao. Bottom you get patchouli and vetivers. Not very complex but it smells gorgeous. This is obviously an oriental perfume. Angel Muse by Thierry Mugler. And the next one is one of my latest loves, latest discoveries, and I am so happy I discovered this perfume. And it is not a very expensive perfume, but it's a very high quality perfume, you guys. Don't ever equate price to the quality. Sure, you know, a lot of the times expensive ingredients, you know, high quality equal higher price. I understand that. But there are sometimes exceptions to the rule and this is one of those perfumes and this one is Lolita Land by Lolita Olympica. This perfume is so amazing. The only thing you have to watch out for, I hate the lid by the way. Don't like the lid. You have to be very careful when you close it otherwise you can accidentally push on the, the top, the sprayer and spray it into the cap, which is really annoying, happens to me all the time. But the sprayer by the way is, I'll just spray this one just to show you the sprayer, look at that. How fine is that mist? Can, can you guys even see that? So very fine, fine mist. It's almost like a uh, sort of like a makeup setting mist, you know, like one of the good ones. Highly complex fragrance. There are a ton of notes in here. I actually talked about this in my previous video. I will link it up here in my haul. I just recently hauled this and I will link it up here in my part two of my very large haul I just posted. This is a very fruity, sweet, balsamic vanilla citrus perfume. The citrus mixed in with the beautiful gorgeous floral notes in here is just amazing. And there's a heavy dose of vanilla that gives it that slight gourmand twist. The, in the opening you have a Bellini note which is which makes this really delicious smelling right in the opening and then there's a bunch of citrus notes. In the middle you get a bunch of fruit, uh, fruity and uh, floral notes, roses and a bunch of white florals and then peach and and plum and stuff in the middle and then on the bottom you get some of the woody notes and there's vanilla there's musk there's sandalwood and licorice it's just very complex fragrance you guys love this and this is the most appropriate for fall time look at it it's it's even shaped like a, a pumpkin you know <laughs> and look at the color of the juice it's perfect for the fall this fragrance and this has great projection grace great sillage lasts for a long time it's a beast mode perfume 
Lolita Land by Lolita Lempica. Next, I have one of the latest additions to my perfume collection. This is this is Misty Rolla Parfum. This one is so intense, you guys. Gorgeous feminine fragrance. This is a very balsamic, rose, woody, vanilla, patchouli fragrance. Very heavy, you know, so really great for the fall time, not so much for summer in the hot weather. I would say this would work well in the winter time as well. It's not a very complex fragrance. So you have mandarin orange in the beginning, you have rose in the middle, a double dose of rose in the middle, and then on the bottom you get the patchouli, vanilla, and amber. So, but it smells very, very good, you guys. Um, this, I would say, has a very heavy dose of patchouli too, by the way, in here. A Misty or La Parfum. So next, I'm sort of going to lump these Four together uh, because it's the same brand and it's sister brand so I'm talking about Mancera and Montal fragrances so seriously guys every I would say if you have any Mancera and Montal fragrances most of them at least the ones I know from what I hear from everybody they're all beast mode perfumes and they are mostly like the fragrance notes tend to be synthetic and you know really strong as a, as a general rule of thumb i think Montserrat and montal fragrances are best worn in the cooler weather i would say especially fall time and you know winter as well but mainly fall season i think is most appropriate for these perfumes so i have two from mancera and two from montal and i think they're all worn best during fall season so let me first talk to you about the the montals montal roses musk it's a gorgeous perfume but you can you can smell that synthetic notes in there and you can tell it's synthetic perfume there's nothing natural oil about this perfume but i gotta tell you it's such a gorgeous perfume very feminine i feel like an arabian princess when i wear this perfume this by the way is packaging from the middle east um it, it, usually it's like a metallic pink uh, packaging usually you get um here but I got this from Fragrance Net. It makes me feel like an Arabian princess. I think it's Jeremy Fragrance or somebody who said that and I think it's totally true. I do feel like an Arabian princess when I wear this. This is a very beautiful synthetic rose fragrance. It smells like rose essence uh, in, a, in the best possible way. It's a rose, musky, powdery, floral scent. So it's really, there are only three notes in this perfume. It's roses, jasmine and musk. And, but it smells just amazing. The rose note in this, very pretty, although it's synthetic with jasmine in it. It's just so gorgeous. And the musk just adds that layer and dimension to it. It's so gorgeous. I, I really do feel like, an, like royalty when I wear this perfume. Um, again, this is best worn during the fall weather because it keeps the perfume smelling the right way. This is a beast mode perfume. So the full cool weather does justice to this perfume, if you ask me. So yeah, best time to wear, fall time, um, Montal Roses Musk. Don't you just love the pouches they come in? It's like very royal and very elegant. The other one from Montal is Montal Intense Cafe. I would say it's quite similar to Roses Musk, but this has the coffee note in it. It's a rose, vanilla, coffee, balsamic, type fragrance. It's obviously an oriental vanilla. It's a rose floral, balsamic, vanilla, coffee type perfume. So in the opening you get a bunch of floral notes and in the middle you get the roses and coffee, so intense cafe part. And on the bottom you get vanilla, amber and musk. So yeah, this is different from roses musk but they're like cousins. Uh, but this has that gorgeous coffee note in here. But what I smell the most is rose, just like in the Roses Musk. Same thing I said for the Roses Musk. Fall weather does justice to this perfume. This performs best during fall time. Montal Intense Cafe. Next I have the two Mancera. So these ones can be whoo, super, super beast mode. First one is Mancera Roses Greedy. Mancera is the sister band to Montal. Again, these are the same as Montal perf perfumes. They're very like synthetic kind of notes in here. By the way, it has this gorgeous twist cap, which is kind of nice, but you gotta be careful not to break them. This one is kind of like Rosa's Musk. 
uh, but only even more beast mode I would say with a few more accords floral rose musky sweet white floral fruity perfume this is a floral fruity gourmand a little bit more com complex than Montel's roses musk you get a little bit like more fruity notes here on the top and gourmand notes on the top you get mandarin orange peach black currant pink pepper and I think a little bit of coconut rose of course and jasmine and other florals you literally have sugar and then there's vanilla benzoin amber and musk these caps are really nice but the one thing is you have to be careful is you don't want to tighten it too hard it could actually break so just be careful opening and closing them I don't want to spray this perfume because it's very strong I can smell it from over here you know I can literally smell it from over here like when I take them out of their pouches, I can smell them. You do not want to over spray Montel and Monsera fragrances. You will give yourself a headache. Just a couple of pulse points and you're good to go. You don't need to spray, over spray at all. I'm an over sprayer and I always over spray. But one thing I don't over spray are Monsera and Montel perfumes. I'll tell you that much. Great for the fall time. They can be a bit much and you can give yourself headaches and others headaches and it could be in your face during the summer and spring seasons and in the hot weather so yeah these are best worn during fall weather fall time and these are okay for winter as well Mancera roses greedy next I have another one from Mancera this one is roses Vene. Um, again same thing with this one twist cap yeah I can smell it over here <laughs> I mean they're beast mode these are beast you guys they're the total beast Again, synthetic fragrance. This one is an oriental vanilla, rose vanilla, sweet, powdery floral. So on the on the top you get some fresh notes. You have water and lemon opening. And then in the middle you get roses and sugar, you guys. Roses and sugar. This is a very sweet perfume. And there's sugar on the base notes too, by the way. So on the base you get vanilla, sugar, cedar, and musk. So if you don't like sweet fragrances, don't get this. This can be a little headache inducing if you don't spray the right amount don't over spray this perfume do not over spray it. I think they perform the best during fall weather so I have some honorable mentions and I don't think these perfumes are really just for the fall season I wanted this video to be just about fragrances that are most appropriate for fall season these ones right here like John Paul Gaultier Labelle Poison Girl by Dior and uh, Armani Cord Satin and then Jean Paul Gaultier Scandal and Scandal by Night. All these perfumes are things you can wear even during summer, spring, winter. In like even summer, spring, you can wear it in the evening time. So like for example, Jean Paul Gaultier Scandal and Scandal by Night are best worn at night time, but all year round. You know, you can even wear this in the summertime. Same with La Belle um, to me. And then um, same with Poison Girl. You can wear it at nighttime and even daytime, really, that one. And Armani Cord Satan. Technically, these are, these are perfumes you can wear all year round. Same with Baccarat Rouge 540 and Extrait the Parfum version. This is, to me, something you can wear all year round. This perfume right here, Baccarat Rouge 540, and the extrait version too. Both of them, they're all year round perfumes. They're not necessarily perfumes you can only wear in the fall time. So that's why I didn't want to include this type of perfumes in this video. I wanted it to be strictly ones that I thought performed the best during fall time and kept its molecular integrity and the fall weather did them justice. I hope this was helpful to you guys. I would love to know what your fall favorites are. Let me know down in the comment section. And by the way, you guys, I have to tell you, I am loving your comments. I love reading them. I love to share my uh, passion for fragrance with you guys. And I see a lot of you are fragrance not just enthusiasts, but people who are very passionate. I am so glad that I have such great subscribers and viewers. It means a lot to me when you guys actually talk to me, let me know your thoughts. 
So that way I actually know you guys are watching my videos and appreciating them and they're being helpful to you or not helpful to you. I want my videos to be helpful to you guys. I do a lot of you know research and I actually have a lot of experience and I want to share them with you guys. And you guys, a lot of you guys gave me a lot of really cool ideas which by the way I promise you I'm working on uh, getting to them. It's just that you had to you know have a lot in the pipeline and I'm gonna get to them eventually. I really appreciate your ideas I have recorded them all and I'm going to get to them at some point and I actually have already ordered a few perfumes that you guys recommended to me and I can't wait to talk about them in my future videos I hope you keep watching and I hope these are helpful to you guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and then hit that notification bell because that's very important so you will get notifications whenever I upload and you don't miss any of my videos. I can't wait to hear your thoughts in the comment section. I will see you guys in my next video.